it's my understanding that uh, my predecessor, Dr. John Tackett, and some business community people uh, had gotten together and had come up with an idea of what would a business academy look like for the Lone Oak community and for the Lone Oak School District. And from there, uh, it came about that they were able to attain some land and property and a millage was passed that we build this facility. Agriculture is the number one industry in Arkansas and to have this school, this academy that's devoted to training uh, young people in the agricultural work services is incredibly important. Uh, we need more workers, we need them properly trained, and for the community to come together and vote a millage to have this academy, which is designed for training uh, diesel mechanics, uh, those in agriculture, aquaculture, that is incredible for this community. Because Lone Oak is such an agricultural based economy and our surrounding counties are agricultural based, it was important to hone that in into our school district and bring that, that vision in and make it more of agriculture because that's really what would stimulate our economy in Lone Oak. I would say that approximately 30 to 40 percent of the students that graduate from Lone Oak actually attend a four year university. And so we were failing kids um, dramatically because we weren't offering other opportunities for those except for academia. And so the fact that we now have an opportunity to teach a, a student a trade and to give them an industrial certificate to go directly into the workforce or to attain further college hours, um, it is an opportunity that is unprecedented in this area. And so it's a great opportunity for the students here. And, and, and as of right now, we have approximately 100 students signed up into the, to be in this program. Well, we've had a relationship with the Lone Oak School District for, well, really since the inception of the college, which offers high school credit primarily in the CTE programs, career and technical education programs. And so when, um, we were approached about this project and would we want to continue that relationship, we said absolutely. What do we need to do to help? Currently there are three programs that we are offering here um, at the Business Academy. The first one is Diesel Technology where students learn about uh, medium and heavy duty truck, diesel trucks as well as uh, diesel tractors. We are also involved with a program called Industrial Technology, which is uh, a journeyman type program where students can learn anything from welding, electrical work, computer aided drafting and design, kind of a wide swath of uh, technical knowledge. And then we have uh, involvement in health professions where students are exposed to emergency medical services, nursing, uh, pharmacy technicians, et cetera. I'm a primary care provider here at the Baptist Health Clinic. Uh, we uh, have been open now since the 30th of uh, August. We're just kind of getting geared up. We're still waiting on some of our equipment to get in. We are seeing patients. We are taking care of the health care needs of this community. Um, we're actually working as a combo. This is a hybrid model. We have a school-based clinic, which is the west side of the building. We have a community-based clinic, which is the east side of the building. And the waiting rooms are actually split, so you don't have to sit with sick kids if you come to the community side, and vice versa. Because we have partnered with Baptist and UAMS, uh, we are offering uh, medical health services here as also coursework. And it's awfully nice to be able to say that once you graduate from us, you can have a CNA or your LPN. And so we do have the capability to offer those courses and, of course, walk across the courtyard into the medical clinic uh, where we have uh, on a rotating basis six interns, uh, physicians. Well I mean it's sustainable health care. I mean this, this clinic will be here long after I'm gone and long after these residents are gone. I think that you know this model will probably be copied by a lot of other communities around the country. Um, it's, it's unique in the sense that you know it's two clinics in one. It's a training facility for family doctors and we're associated with a business academy which also is training people for skills to go out and make a living. 
So uh, a, a student uh, who attends the ASU BB programs would attend free of charge. Uh, our tuition is $103 per hour, but that is covered by the school system. For a vision, I really hope that this Lone Oak Business Academy will be a showcase for all public schools in the area or in areas of agricultural that will want to come see what we've done and see the type of curriculum that we're offering and see how we've done it and our partners who have shined, you know, if it's ASUBB or Baptist Health, how they have taught our students this hands-on programming and I just hope that by that that we put Lone Oak on the map. Ultimately, what we want for our kids is that we want them to be successful in the workforce, however they choose to get there. But that's what, that's what we want. And so, to me, it's the most exciting thing that I've, I've been a part of.